Osteoarthritis of the knee. Osteoarthritis is the most common disease that damages a joint and causes stiffness and pain. The knee is one of the most affected joints, along with the hands, hips, and spine. Condition. A normal joint is formed by two bones. The end of each bone is covered with a cartilage, which has a smooth, slippery surface that allows the ends of the bones to move against each other almost without friction. When a joint develops osteoarthritis, some of the cartilage covering the ends of the bones gradually roughens and becomes thin, and the knee develops swelling and pain. Symptoms Pain Stiffness and restricted movement Crepitus Or the sensation of grinding or creaking when the affected joint moves Bony swelling Excess fluid Joint instability Weakness and thinning of the thigh muscle Risk factor Obesity, high body mass, means a higher load for the joint. Previous joint injury or disease, even when already healed. Increasing age, genetic factor and gender, as women have a higher chance to develop the disease than men. Self-help There's no cure for osteoarthritis yet, but there's a lot you can do to improve your symptoms. Lose weight if you're overweight. Exercise regularly, both muscle strengthening and general aerobic exercise. Reduce stress on the affected joint. Break the harder jobs up into chunks and do something more gentle in between. Wear appropriate footwear, for example, low-heeled shoes with soft, thick socks. Use a walking stick or walker. Use the handrail for support when going up or down stairs. Modify your home, car or workplace to reduce unnecessary strain. Don't keep your knees still in a bent position for too long. Apply heat or ice packs. Use painkillers or anti-inflammatory creams, gels and tablets. Remember to read the label first. There are some medications that don't have a proven role yet, but are still used, such as glucosamine and chondroitin, and also acupuncture. Treatments If you still have pain after trying self-help measures, seek help from a rheumatologist. The rheumatologist would examine you and advise you to go for an imaging test, like x-ray or MRI or take your joint fluid for analysis. If required, a rheumatologist may recommend the following treatments. Stronger painkillers, steroid injections into the painful joint, capsaicin cream. Always follow your rheumatologist's advice for the proper dose and duration of the medicine. A surgery, including joint replacement, may be needed for intolerable pain.